historic Tahlequah. We're here in the what is now the front uh, reception area of the Madeira's um, uh, Law and Title Company, but Park is going to tell us about what it was originally. Well, this room that we're in, uh, Miss Harrington, was originally the family room. And then just beyond me, where my office is today, was historically the, the dining room. And then the, the third room, where my secretaries have their desks set up, was their living room. All righty. And we en we'll enter the house and we'll see that uh, through that wonderful door we were talking about yes. with the stairway. And in this room, I am noticing that the... the so window surrounds are the original with uh, decorative rondelles and you know I believe as I look at them that uh, the carving in those rondelles is called East Lake because it uh, has some uh, background in nature. Were you aware of that Park? I was not aware of that. <laughs> I, I can say that uh, we, we get frequent c comments from our, our clients and customers on the, the detail and the ornate nature of the of the, of the woodwork, and, and if I ever get someone who is a woodworker, they all, always comment on, on the near impossibility of getting uh, woodwork like that. You'd have to have it specially milled, and it looks like the, the, the rondelles have some hand carving in them. Uh, those, those rosettes appear to be. Yes, uh, yes, and sometimes they are called rosettes. Yeah. And I, and I noticed by, by the surround, on the surrounds that the grooving looks, appears to me to might have been done by by hand. I, I, I really don't know. It's very well done, whether it was done by hand or done by, by a machine. It's, a it's writing machine. But. And uh, I also noticed that the, what they called mop boards, and we say baseboards now, are much wider than what we use today. So that's very interesting. And we're going to go in to, uh, on around through uh, uh, your office and back around and uh, let the people see okay. what is here. Now, Park, this was the dining room, but it's now your office. That's right. Uh, it's certainly a big chair and a big desk, and you need that to take care of your clients. And I'm looking over here in this corner, and I'm seeing some things that indicate your interests. Yes, uh, you, can, you can see I have a large photo of my wife. I've got some souvenirs from various trips and tra travel excursions we've been on, and of course my, my OU centers have to be on display as well. That, that's right. Well, then when we go from this room, we'll go into what was the kitchen area? Yes, that's right. All righty, let's do that then. And this was the kitchen area for the house originally, and you all still have a need to do things in your law offices for the convenience of your staff. Right. We have a full service kitchen here so that occasionally we have employees that like to cook cook meals, but we've got our industrial coffee coffee maker, but we also have a time clock, which you wouldn't expect to see normally in a kitchen. <laughs> right, we, right. We used the space as, uh, as we could. Certainly. Well, from this room then we'll go on into what was the parlor or living room, which is now an office for some of your secretaries. Okay. Now, Park, this was the living room. That's right. And tell us about how you're using it for your law firm. Well, we had to put in a set of double doors to separate this room from my office, but uh, we've been able to comfortably situate uh, two desks and two credenzas, two file cabinets, and then we still have additional storage in this uh, closet back here, but again, is that we're just trying to maximize the usage of the space that was originally planned as as residential. Very good. And then uh, could we go into the entry and after that look down in the basement? Sure. All righty, let's do that. Okay. Park, this is a wonderful entry hall and stairway. Is there something you'd like to say to us about this? Well, I've always admired the, the detail of particularly of, of the post here and the, the, the banister and the balustrades here. Uh, and. I don't know if you can tell on the television shot, but it, it's very, very high ceilings here and uh, gives kind of a, an impression of spaciousness. I mean, it seems kind of grand when you walk in and you see this beautiful large staircase. And, I, and also, I hope the camera can get uh, this piece of woodworking here at the top of the stairway. It's, it's an simply... Interesting, uh, yeah, I, I've never seen anything like simply, it. But it uh, simply wonderful. Yeah. Now, after we do this, could we take a peek in the basement? Sure. Oh, good. Uh, the basement park, I notice, is, uh, has a dirt floor and rock walls, and that is so typical of all the old houses in Tahlequah of this era and their basement construction. Right. I was very surprised to see that it had a dirt floor, but uh, in all the years I've been here, it's never flooded, never had any kind of drainage issues or anything like that. It's re pretty remarkable. That's just wonderful. And as I said, numbers of the houses that I've been in have had this construction under the big two-story homes.
Now, don't go away because we're going to come right back. Come on.